Even if you don't know much about the Bible, you probably know how it starts. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. An ancient Israelite would have understood that to mean, in the beginning, God created the skies above our heads and the ground beneath our feet. What's up there and what's down here? In the beginning, God created, in other words, a place. When I say that word place, what comes to mind? Is it our world, our nation, your state, your city? Maybe it's your neighborhood, your home, your church, your office. And here's my question. Do these places have any value in and of themselves? How should Christians think about places anyways? You've probably heard the saying, the church is not a building, it's a people. Is that true? If it is, then do places really matter? If places don't matter, then why is it hard to move out of your childhood home? If places don't matter, then why do you get nostalgic every time you drive through your hometown? Why do we get attached to vacation spots? Or think about it this way. When somebody asks you to tell them about yourself, what do you say? You start with where you're from, a place. Why is that? Well, that's because places matter to us. But places don't just matter to us, they matter to God. In the beginning, God created a place. And he created a people to live with, to dwell with, to be with in that place. And that's the story, not just of Genesis 1, whether you know it or not, it's the story of the entire Bible. First, it was Adam and Eve in the garden, and then it was Israel in the promised land. God quite literally took his people out of one place, out of Egypt, and into another, his place, Israel. Think about that for a second. If all he wanted was a relationship, couldn't he be with his people wherever he wanted? Well, of course, he's God. But this God, he seems to be a little bit different than what we think he might be. He cares about the land. He cares about places, geography. And so he takes Israel out of one place and brings them to another. Later on in the biblical story, we come across a man named Jesus from a place called Nazareth. And he seems, at first glance at least, to take this concept of place and turn it upside down. He tells the religious leaders that the place of the temple, their most important place would be destroyed and in its place would be himself. In another conversation with the Samaritan woman, she asks him, hey, which mountain are we gonna worship at, Jesus? And he says, neither on the mountain in Jerusalem or your mountain. That mountain will be replaced with myself. Worship will be in spirit and in truth. What's going on here? Do places no longer matter once Jesus shows up? Does Jesus not care about places? Of course not, this is the God man. He was there at creation. Scripture says that all things made were made through him and in him all of creation, all of the places are held together. So here's what I think he's saying. He's not saying that places don't matter. He's just saying that the places of worship are now being replaced by him. The person has become the place of worship. So what does that mean for places then? Well, if we look at the early church, we get an idea. Even though the early church didn't have big buildings or big church campuses, they still gathered in local places. Ephesus, Philippi, Antioch, Iconium, Corinth, all of these local places. The church was committed to their neighborhoods, their cities, their towns, their villages. Following Jesus didn't reduce the significance of their places. If anything, it increased their significance. Because the church always exists in two places at once. In Jesus, in heaven, and in the city. In him, and in the city. What about you and me then? What about the church in the 21st century? You see, there's a reason why Jesus told us to pray that the Father's will would be done on earth as it is in heaven, in this place as it is in that place. And so for us, as citizens of heaven, Jesus cares so much about our local places that he wants them to look like heaven. And our job as citizens of heaven is to bring that place to bear on this place. Jesus does not want to do away with places. He wants to redeem them. And the project that began with him continues through the church and will end when he comes back. In the beginning, God created a place. And at the end, he will come back to restore, renew, and recreate that place.